Today I want to show you the process of creating a parametric weave. The inputs are very simple. You have to select a face and then define the different values on the UV direction of a surface to be subdivided. Uh, hit the run command and uh, Dynam is going to generate in the background a parametric weave. So the inputs that are controlling these um, script is the UV subdivision, which in this case it's um, a factor of uh, multiples of two. I, mean, I can do this a six by six, for example, run it and update the weave in the background. And then uh, the other, oops, I click 66. Shit. I guess I can fix that. Or, and the other type of input is the size of the profiles, which are in this uh, code block. I mean, I can make this narrower. Um, or increase its uh, size. And the other uh, parameter input is the tightness of the of the different rivs, and this is a number slider. Uh, this makes the offset of the weave tighter or a little bit looser. Uh, and um, I'm gonna leave these. Uh, posted on the blog uh, I just want to raise um, a discussion of the most important part of the script I think so the first thing is to be able to sort this list of points in a checkout board uh, distribution and the way I do this is by getting the key of you know the first level and then the nested level and using uh, the modulus node, I'm able to find uh, which of these are multiple of two. And this list of uh, booleans actually give me uh, a filter mechanism to identify different points distribution. Um, the rest is pretty simple. It's just a matter of translating UV points, uh, sort the order of the odd points, and um, create curves and profiles, and create solids and apply colors. You optionally have the ability to import into Revit if you want to. But what's great about it as well is that I can change profiles. For example, if I decided to use circles instead of flat ribs then uh, I could just hook up the circle here connect it to the profile run the definition and um, there you go I can create a different variations uh, by changing the density of the elements Alright, I'm going to leave this definition in here for your, for your work and uh, hope you liked it. Thank you.